We have a 225 pound man that pushes on a 350 pound crate. So right here, going to be the crate. Right there is our weight of our man. And the crate is three foot by three foot by three foot. The coefficient of static friction between the man and the floor down here. Mu sub s is 0.6. And uh, between the crate and the floor is mu sub s is 0.4. Can the man move the crate? Well, how is the man going to move the crate? Either by slipping or tipping. We need to check both. To solve a problem like this, you need two free body diagrams. You need one of the man, and then you need a free body diagram of the crate. All right. The crate is similar to what we just did. You have the weight in the middle. Then you have this pushing force. Let's call it P that the man exerts, and it's pushed at the top of the crate. All right, you're going to get a point over here where you're going to get the normal underneath the crate, and you're going to get this frictional force, and that's what the crate feels. All right, let's go over here to our man. So we have our man. Maybe we try and draw him anatomically correct. There's our man drawn anatomically correct. We have our friction, our, our load P. Equal and opposite. We have the weight of the man. So I might have put a weight of the crate and the weight of the man to distinguish them. And then what do we have here? We have the normal underneath the man, just like we had the normal underneath the crate. And then do, do we have this or the opposite direction? You have to think about that for a minute. This is the frictional force. Uh, under the man. Did I do the free body diagrams correctly? If we mess them up, we got problems, right? Yeah. Okay. Look good. Okay. So from the free body diagram of the man, we do the sum of the forces in the y equal to zero that we find that the normal under the man is equal to the weight of the man. And then the next one is that we find uh, that the uh, frictional force between the bottom of the man is at, and that would be the maximum. So I'm going to say that FSM, so that's our maximum, would be the mu of S for the man, which is 0.6, times the N of the man, which is the weight. So we find that our frictional force maximum is going to be 0.6 times the weight of the man was 225 pounds. 225 pounds, and you can actually run this number, and we find that it's uh, 135 pounds. We come over here, so now we know this is 135 pounds because I, I should have gone a little slower. The sum of the forces in x equal to zero, so the force P is now 135 pounds. So we come now to the crate, 135 pounds. You're pushing at the top. And we know the weight of the crate is two, 350 pounds. You can find what uh, X is to consider tipping, right? Uh, if X is greater than um, 1.5 foot, then we have tipping. So let's go ahead and so it would be the weight times X. This is our distance X. Uh, times P times our height of the crate, three foot. And you find X comes in at 1.16 foot. So at the maximum force that the man can exert at the top of the crate, this is uh, less than 1.5, not no tip. It's not going to tip. Okay, well, what about slip now? So we look over here and we say, okay, if P is equal to 135 pounds, then what is the F with the crate? Um, let me do this. The static or the maximum with the crate. Wouldn't that be mu S with the crate times the N of the crate? And the N of the crate, some of the forces in the Y is equal to weight of the crate. So 0 0.4 times 350 pounds. So the maximum um, static friction coefficient for the bottom of the crate, 0.4 times 350, 140 pounds. 
I'm sorry? Poor guy. He can't, he can't do he it. Can't do good. He cannot move. He cannot move it. You're absolutely right. He can only exert a maximum of 135. Maybe a very strong person. He'll even push harder. His feet will slip and he'll fall. That's what will happen. Yep. Maybe he will uh, do something like find some little lip to put his foot against. That will help him, but that's beyond the scope of this problem. Right? Like if there's a baseball player, dig his foot into the dirt or something. I don't know what they do, football, whatever they do, cleats or something. So anyway, cannot the crate will not slip, the crate will not tip. Thank you very much for your attention. We'll see you next time.